We are 24 hour, seven day a week service. Um, a lot of faculty aren't aware of that. They Sometimes I think we go home you know, at the end of the day or on the weekends. We're here on Christmas, holidays, weekends, um, all night long. So I want them to be aware of that. We are a full-time police department. We're the same as Bexley Police Department, except our jurisdiction is on Kaplan University property. Uh, we have mutual aid with the local PD, which is Bexley PD. So sometimes if we need help, they come help us, and vice versa, we help them out. Our building is located on 661 College Avenue. It's a little brick house on the corner of College and Mound Street. Um, you'll see the parking lot says public safety, and you'll see all the police cars that are parked in that lot. If your battery's dead, we have a jumper cables, not cables, but little jumper boxes in each of our cruisers. We'll give you a jump start. If you lock your keys in your car, um, we'll get your keys out for you. Um, we'll provide a 24-7 escort service, so if you're scared to walk to your car at night, we'll give you a ride to wherever you need to go. We'll clear that or we'll walk you to wherever you need to go. For our emergency number, it's extension 6666. That'll give us 24 hours of emergency service. Um, for non-emergency, you can dial extension 6504. And then our parking services is 6505. Uh, Rave Guardian app can be downloaded on, on your app store. It looks like a little blue shield. Um, what you'll do is you'll, it'll ask you for what university you're at. Like it'll say Ohio State Capital. So you put in Capital, um, you fill in your information, and what this app does is it gives you a couple different options. It has a panic alarm on there. As long as your GPS is turned on, it'll give it'll let our dispatch know your general location. Um, it also has a virtual escort where it has a timer where if you're walking, say, to the library, to your vehicle, you, you take your steps, you say it takes you 10 minutes, so you may put in 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. If you do not deactivate your timer with your code within 11 minutes, it'll send an alert out that you're in trouble to our dispatch station. Um, and then also you can do, like, uh, contact facilities on that the application, too, and do a couple other items on there. Hey, you sign up for Cap Alerts, you're automatically signed up for those when, when you sign up for the, your email and IT. IT signs up for the Cap Alert. It's all done online, so if you go online when you're signing up for like your, your, uh, your ID badges and, and things, IT will automatically sign you up for the Cap Alert. For faculty, uh, at nighttime, watch your surroundings. Always be aware of your surroundings. Uh, look for suspicious people. Um, working here, you'll get to know, you know who are the students and who's not. If you see somebody looking in office stores, call us. Never be afraid to call us. We'll do walkthroughs of the building. We'll ID them just to make sure they're legit. Um, try to lock your office doors. Try to lock their office doors at night um, because crime opportunity is a big crime. They see your office door open, they'll go in, snatch your wallet, snatch your purse, snatch your cell phone within a matter of seconds. So even though it's an inconvenience, I would suggest always locking your door if you're leaving for a period of time. Even if you're going to the restroom and back, I would lock your office doors. Um, like I say, it's an inconvenience, but it'll save, you know, thefts and or something. Basically, just call us. Anything you see that doesn't look right, everybody has that sixth sense. If it doesn't look right to you, call us. Even if you think, ah, I don't want to bother them, or it's probably nothing, go ahead and call us because it's better to be safe than sorry. At least we can do a walkthrough and, and look at the individual and determine if he's a student, you know, or a danger or not.